And now, with its 2020 Local News First with WIVT News Director Rick Brancadora. 51-year-old Mary Lou Wigglesworth of Mays Landing, the South Jersey woman charged with the murder of her husband, Christmas night. According to the prosecutor, the Township of Hamilton Police Department responded to the home at 5200 block of Mays Landing Summers Point Road for an injured male shortly before 11 o'clock. By the time officers arrived, they found 57-year-old David Wigglesworth suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. He was pronounced dead at the scene. She was taken into custody. She is currently at the Atlanta County Justice Facility this Monday afternoon. Well, it's called cloud seeding or nucleation. Could it have been part of what we saw this past weekend with a flash freeze? Government warning people to get where they need to be before the potential freeze. Soundly like a line from the movie The Day After Tomorrow. Temperatures in some reason crashed by as much as 75 degrees in only four hours. But according to Dane Wigington of geoengineeringwatch.org, cloud nucleization or cloud seeding may have played a significant role in what we saw and what's to come. It does if you consider climate engineering and patented processes of chemical ice nucleation cloud seeding operations. The highly sensationalized, quote, flash freeze event in the U.S. is scheduled to be followed by a profound warm-up across the whole of the U.S., especially in the exact regions that are slated to be flash frozen. South Jersey, our weather is always changing. That's why Nor'easter Nick is always there. I'm there when it matters most. Anytime, anywhere. And on any screen, so you know how to prepare. Tracking severe storms with the most powerful technology, so you're ready no matter where you live. Delivering the most accurate weather forecast on air, online, and on social media. Putting local first around the clock. Nor'easter Nick, South Jersey's weatherman. The Philadelphia Radio Legend, reborn in the Jersey Shore. WIBG. 94.3 Atlantic City. 